and here it tells us the upload succeeded and we can also see the extra page.html appearing now the folder is more pages and this extra page.html is under the more pages folder now if we were to click on this extra page.html here it gives us the URL of that file so here you can see http www.pizzadeliverysecrets.com forward slash more pages forward slash extra page.html so if you ever want that URL you can always just click on the file and you get its location over here and you can highlight the location and then you can copy that guy so that's an easy way to grab file locations from once you're in here now go up another level back to our public HTML folder and now we want to get all these files now we've already created the folders and loaded the folders with images so now we want to put these files in here now you notice this hand code is a text document. We don't upload the text document, just the HTML pages. So this about us is an HTML document. Contact, if we highlight it with our cursor, it's an HTML document. FAQ is an HTML document. HTML document. Text document, you don't need to include that. And we want to just upload the HTML documents. So since these are in the My Website folder, as indicated here, we need to upload them into the public HTML folder here. So let's upload the files. And we want to browse. And we've got to go back to our My Website folder. And let's upload the About Us page. Let's upload the Contact page. Let's hit Browse and upload the FAQ. Let's hit Browse, upload Hand Code. Let's hit Browse, upload the Index hit browse, upload index 2. We want to overwrite existing files. Right now there are no existing files in there, but if we were updating the site and replacing other files with the same name, we would want to overwrite the existing files, so we hit upload. And up here it tells you for each file that the upload succeeded. You can also scroll down. Notice we're in the public HTML folder right now. And if we scroll down we see the about us page, contact, FAQ, hand code, index, index 2. So we've just uploaded our My Website folder to the internet through our hosting account, and it's all in here. So let's go get the URL of one of these pages. Let me select faq.html, and it's no surprise. See how it says www.pizzadeliverysecrets.com forward slash faq.html? So since the faq.html file was uploaded to the public HTML folder, it's just pizzadeliverysecrets.com forward slash faq.html. So you don't put forward slash public HTML forward slash faq.html. It's just, since it's in the main directory, it's just faq.html. Now let's look in our images folder. And we need to click this little icon here. And this brian2.jpg. Let's click on that, and its URL is pizzadeliverysecrets.com forward slash images forward slash brian2.jpg. Since it's in the images folder, you need to do the forward slash images forward slash brian2.jpg. So any file, if you want to get its URL of where it is online, you click here, and then you can copy this URL here. So let's go to a web page. That's just a JPEG image. Let's go up one level. And let's go to that FAQ page. So FAQ.html. And let's highlight it. And let's right click and copy. Now let me open another browser. And I want to go to that URL. So pizzadeliverysecrets.com forward slash FAQ.html. And my other browser is opening up. So now I want to Go to my browser and right click and paste that URL, pizzadeliverysecrets.com forward slash faq.html and let's hit go. And you'll see that this is the same FAQ page that we were making on our sample website. We can also go to the home page and we'll see that this was the home page that we made. And we can click on about us. 
Notice how when I click on each page, now we're at pizzadeliverysecrets.com forward slash aboutus.html. Contact page, it's pizzadeliverysecrets.com forward slash contact.html. I remember when we were in our My Website folder, if I were to view the contact page, let me double click on that. The ending is the same, contact.html, but we have all this stuff. C colon, backward slash, documents and settings, backward slash, all this stuff. But the contact.html is the same as our contact.html page here. The only difference is now the page is on the website pizzadeliverysecrets.com. Let me show you something else. If we go to cPanel, this contact.html page Let's select contact.html, and over here you'll see a menu. Let's edit the file. Now you can edit the file right in cPanel, and here it takes you to where you can edit the file. And let's make one small change. Let's look at the page and see what we want to change. So we go back to the contact page. Here it says, please read. So let's go back to where we were editing and I'm going to do control and F at the same time so I can find please and it found the please right here okay so it says please read the details below about how to contact us well let's just change it to all uppercase all caps just so we know we made a change so Let's go down and hit save. And then we'll go back to our page that's online, pizzadeliverysecrets.com forward slash contact.html. And we just made a change. So we hit refresh. And you'll see that please is now in all caps. So you can edit the file directly online. But I recommend that you always save a backup of that code. So edit the page first on your computer and then upload the changes. So now let's see how we can upload it on upload the changes from our computer. Let's go to our My Website folder and let's look at the FAQ page. Okay, so here, here are the answers to some of our most frequently asked questions and we've got all this stuff. So let's open the source code, view source, 